As Wiregrass schools reopen or prepare to reopen, concerns about how the health and safety of students will be handled have been rising. Ileana Capian has more. COVID-19 has been a challenge that many school systems have had to work through. And now the question is, are our schools equipped with enough school nurses? We will be wearing roller skates and hit the door running. DCS lead nurse says the responsibilities that fall on school nurses this year in conjunction with their regular job duties is going to keep them busy. But at this time, a nurse shortage is not something they have to face. We do have a, a nurse in every school. Some schools do have two, some have three. We are fortunate to have a nurse in every school. DCS has 17 schools and 19 school nurses. They are planning to use the health and wellness portion of the coronavirus relief funds to hire more staff. Even though we do have a nurse at every school, we we will need some extra helping hands. Uh, Dr. Edwards is planning on uh, having four plus a health services liaison to help kind of ease that load because uh, she realized that it is going to be hectic for us. A student presenting COVID-19 symptoms will be taken to an isolation room. The nurse will monitor the child following the 615 rule. We will make sure that we have on the appropriate PPE. We have gloves, we have gowns, we have masks, we have shoe covers. We will make that assessment for them. And as long as we're uh, six feet away from them for longer than 15 minutes, then we're okay. We wouldn't have to quarantine ourselves. And they want to remind parents that students are still expected to be up to date on all their vaccines prior to the first day of school. Covering local news first, in Dothan, Ileana Capian, WDHN. DCS also hopes to purchase temperature scanners. Those scanners would be used in schools and will help them avoid using handheld thermometers. Students would be temperature checked when they walk in. Dothan City Schools are scheduled to reopen Tuesday, September 8th.